Hey Virgo, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your end of January general love reading. Now keep in mind this is a general reading, which means it cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be left in the description box below. In case you are new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that you all are doing well. So Virgo, this is my second time trying to do you guys reading. And it's so interesting because you have a strong two reference already in your reading. So somebody could be dealing with someone whose birthday is in February. Your birthday could be in February, but you just have strong Virgo placements. Also, two talks about duality, balance, and having choices. And that's definitely what I'm getting here in your energy. So when I was meditating over the reading, the first song that I got was Let Me Blow Your Mind by Gwen Stefani. I mean, Eve featuring Gwen Stefani. And then right before I started, you know, your reading, I heard the song I Can Love You by Mary J. Blige featuring Lil' Kim. I'll leave the links to the songs in the description box below so you can listen to them following the reading if you so choose to. Now, again, already starting off with that two energy. If you think about it with Let Me Blow Your Mind, you have two artists on that song. It's a it's a feature. And then the same with the Mary J. Blige and Lil' Kim song. So I'm getting strong energy with two. And if you think about it, all of these songs, or both of these songs rather, first of all, you got two songs, so there's another two reference. Some of you guys may be seeing 222 two, two a lot. So I always tell you guys, when we get repeating numbers or mirroring numbers, make sure you Google angel number and then put that number. So Google angel number 222 and leave in the comment section below how that message resonates for you or if it resonates with you. Because some that's going to resonate with somebody. Somebody also could be a master number 22. You or love interest here. But I'm going to tell you, you guys, <laughs> you guys got temptation on your heels or your temptation to somebody okay with the song let me blow your mind clear as day they're talking about like yes I'm, i want to knock your socks off okay literally and then with the song i can love you and the hook of the song she says i can love you better than she can and again it's something with strong feminine energy because again with both songs it's it's both you know it's this energy of female energy it's just all female artists so i do feel like Somebody may be stepping to you or you may be stepping to someone who is already in a relationship. And like I said with the Mary J. Blige song, I can love you better than she can. It's kind of like, again, a temptation. Like somebody knows that someone's in a relationship and they don't give a damn because they're like, yo, you don't seem happy in this situation or they just, somebody just doesn't care. Somebody's just very bold. Again, this could be you or this could be someone else. If you are completely single, you could be temptation to someone who is in a relationship. Honestly and sincerely, that's what I'm getting. Now, with Eve, with the song Let Me Blow Your Mind, Eve is a Scorpio, Gwen Stefani is a Libra, and then with the song I Can Love You, Mary J. Blige is a Capricorn, and Little Kim is a Cancer. So you got Scorpio, Libra, Capricorn, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus individuals may play a specific role in this situation here, okay? So let's see what we get for you guys. It's going to be interesting because, like I said, this is the second take for your reading. So I feel like, mm, okay. So, okay, now I'm here. Second chance. Um, what is his name? El DeBarge? Yeah. Is it second chance? I, I believe it's a song. I'm hearing second chance by El DeBarge. Okay, you got a lot of songs popping up, which means something may be music to your ears, or these messages are just saying, with that second chance, I'm hearing like this could be someone from your past who's trying to come back. Like an ex. Ooh. Okay, so with the, with the Mary J. Blige song, I Can Love You Better Than She Can, an ex could be seeing you in a relationship, and they're just like, that person ain't got nothing on me. That person ain't got nothing on us. That's what I'm saying. I'm getting like temptation. Like somebody's ex could be trying to come back. They could be lurking in the shadows. But I feel like if they're in the shadows, they're about to step into the light. I can tell you that much. Okay? So let's see what we get for you guys today. <laughs> for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You guys know you're my rising sign, so I'm always interested in what's going on here. Okay? Bottom of the deck. See, I said, if somebody's hiding in the shadows, they come into the light. You see how she's blindfolded here, but all this light is shining on the side. Oh, my God. And then I say there's two energy, and you got the two skills. Okay, now. Somebody has a choice to make between two different people. And I, I do feel like one of these situations is extremely associated with karma. Okay? You got the Justice card Libra energy here. And I did mention that Gwen Stefani is a Libra. So somebody could definitely be dealing with somebody who is a Libra. Or something that played out in Libra season of 2022. And Libra season is September, October. So something specific could have played out. 
Like someone could have had a breakup and immediately got into a new relationship and then this person wants to come back. And they're like, this person ain't nothing like me. This person ain't me. Again, there could have been a third party situation. And I feel like there's like a lover's triangle here, almost if you will. I want you to see, do you see that? It's kind of giving me the vibe of like a triangle, if you will. And it's upside down, which means somebody was not completely healed before they moved on to something new. Somebody's favorite food could be pizza. I don't know why I'm seeing it. And you guys know I use these cards all the time. But it's making me think about a pizza box. Somebody's favorite food could be pizza. First, middle, last initial, C, G, M, W, J, or E. First, middle, last initials for you or your person or a third party in this scenario. Okay. So let's part the deck. The Magician, Virgo, also Gemini. Wow. See, somebody's trying to be manipulative. Somebody's trying to get something to go their desired direction. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Two major are kind of starting off here. This is powerful. You got three of pentacles. That's what I'm saying. I feel like there's a third party situation somewhere. I'm getting a love of triangle somehow. Again, even if you're single, I feel like somebody is like, somebody may be in a relationship and when they come to you, they're not making it known that they're already in something. Somebody may have to find out by doing some type of lurking. Page of swords, I spy lurker, somebody keeping text. See, I told you. This is somebody that people have history with. These people who have history here. Mm -hmm. And I did say Lil' Kim is a um, cancer. You do have the Six of Cups. And cancer season does start in June. So you definitely could be involved with it. Oh, wow. Definitely could be involved with a cancer. In one of his hands, you got the cancer symbol, Gemini. You also have Aries and Aquarius here. Wow, you got cancer again. A lot of cancer. Queen of Cups. Look at that. And she's in between two dogs. I told, See, I told you guys. I keep getting this two energy. Now, she's turning her back towards one dog, and that's why his eyes are pouty, he's sad, and then she's going in the direction of a new one, offering her cup. Now, you know, dogs talk about companionship and loyalty, and she's right in the middle, so there's two people that are, like, trying to get somebody's attention, trying to get somebody's loyalty. And you have queens, whenever you have kings and queens, those are people in long-term relationships, nothing short-lived here. Someone's first, middle, last initial could be Q, N, O, F, C, P, or S. First, middle, or last initial, okay? Now, I want to get you guys major arcana, which is the hermit. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Virgo. Someone rising Venus in the visuals. Holy shit. Two of swords. Two. I, I, I told you guys, this is my second time trying to do you guys reading. And then you keep getting all these two references. Some of you guys have a choice to make. Or somebody is trying to choose between you and another person, I'm trying to tell you. Gemini Libra Aquarius here again. Okay, let's get into this because this is deep. This is deep right here, Jack. You got the world, World Wide Web. Somebody is keeping tabs on somebody on social media. You got Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and Scorpio. Now, this does associate with Aquarius, and then you do have Gemini Libra Aquarius here, and we are in Aquarius season. So I do kind of feel like in Aquarius season, something is coming to the light. I want you to notice her eyes are covered. Even here, she has like a mask over her eyes. You see that? So I definitely feel like... Some of you guys may have somebody coming towards you who's in a relationship and they're not telling you. It's like omission. Because sword up is just sword down is no. Sword is communication and mental. So somebody's not telling you that they're already in a situation if you're single. And then for others, this person like, I don't give a damn if you are single. I'm still coming towards you. you travel with the world card, okay? Somebody may be literally saying, you could be at a literal distance from someone and this person is making plans or telling you that they're making plans to come see you. I'm getting that also, okay? So again, wow, this is crazy. <laughs> I just want you guys to see this. You got the seven of wands and then the seven of swords. Seven plus seven is 14. Of that 14, one plus four is five. So it's some type of change happening here. Somebody's status it has changed also. Somebody could have been blocking you at one point because they were single I mean, because they were in a relationship and they could be telling you that they're single now, but mm, seven swords of light, cheat and manipulate a sneak connive. Like this person's coming in like, yeah, I'm single now, but right before you had the seven of swords. So that's, that's some type of deception. So be mindful because it does look like it's something that they're omitting, something that they're hiding. They're not being honest about something here. So just be mindful about that. So again, we want the hermit and the card that comes before and the card that comes after for Virgo. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals. Yeah, somebody's hiding something. Okay, so right here, you have your major arcana. Right in front of it, you have the major, another major arcana, the Emperor, Aries energy. Let's see what's behind it. Wow, so some of you guys are definitely going to be dealing with a fire sign. Yeah, specifically Aries here. Leo says Aries here with the page. Uh-oh, oh, look at that. And this was stuck here. Wow. Four. 
You know what? Who had 444? I believe it was Ver... Um, Leo had 444. Yep, they sure did. And, and look, you got all this fire. So if you're associated with a Leo, watch Leo's reading because they had hella fours. Like, they kept getting four, like, left and right. And this is actually one of the cards that came out in their reading. Okay? So you have the Major Arcana, Aries, which is interesting because you have four right here. And Aries season is March, April. So you got four right here. So something with someone whose birthday could be in April. Or um, you could be meeting, if you're single, you could be meeting a new love interest in April. After you take some, some time away from dating and just did some healing. And then, like I said, you got the page of wands. Somebody, look, uh, again, it's something with two. He's in between two birds. That's what I'm saying. His back is turned towards one. He's going in the direction of a new one. Right in front of that, you got Major Arcana. The star card, wish fulfillment. Oh, my God. Wish fulfillment and healing. And that's Aquarius. And we are in Aquarius season. And it's like she has one, two vases here. Something with two. There's a choice between two different people. I'm trying to tell you. Somebody needs to heal before they get into a relationship also is what I'm getting. Now, you know, anytime you get the emperor, that's one half of a divine counterpart. For every emperor, there's an empress, vice versa, same sex. However, it applies to you. That's long-term relationships. That's marriage and long-term commitment here. So it does look like some of you guys need to heal from a breakup. Because the next person that you're going to meet is going to be someone that you're going to have a long-term relationship with. But I want you to notice this didn't come this way. This came this way. So they're saying, you see how he has his lantern? On the person who's healing. They're telling you, for a lot of y'all, you need to do some healing. You know, because I, I do feel like somebody's trying to come towards you. And they're not healed. Or you're not healed. Somebody's not healed. There is a breakup for somebody. Because you got of the four swords, there's three right over them. So some there was some type of breakup here, for sure. Now, also, because I'm hearing the song with the song, I Can Love You Better Than She Can. Again, apply to how it fits male or female. I do feel like somebody is going through a heartbreak currently. Somebody's going through a heartbreak and somebody new could be coming in and they're just like, I, I would never do you the way this person did you. I can love you better than she or he can. I wouldn't do like to you, do that to you because I'm, I'm solid. You know, that's what I'm getting because the emperor is solid. This is someone who's trustworthy, someone who means business. Look how serious and intense he is. This person means business. And that's what I'm getting here also. Bottom of the deck, you got the death card. So like I said, confirmation. Somebody just recently got out of a situation or will be soon. Major Arcana, energy associated with Scorpio. I always see this as like the hair font also. So I'm getting a Scorpio um, Taurus here. Okay. And Taurus is also a four energy because Taurus, oh my God, what is going on today? Okay. So I was just going to say Taurus, um, season stars in April and you have the four of pentacles. Go ahead and check out that Leo reading, Okay. Even if you are not associated with someone who's a Leo sun, because people always get stuck on the sun signs. Mm -mm. You got moon rising and Venus. So this person can have Leo in their chart. Go check out Leo's reading because they had nothing but fours all across the board, literally. And I do believe this is one of the fours that showed up. I know for a fact this did. This was like literally in their spread like this. It actually was the first card. I believe this one did too. You, you go check out Leo's reading, okay? If you have strong Leo placements in your chart, go check it out, okay? I'm just telling you that right now. Somebody is like... Something is ending or has get something is getting ready to end or has ended and somebody's still holding on. Like there could be an ex who's still holding on for their life. Not wanting to end the situation. I just seen the chariot. Wow, divine counterparts. Okay, I'm gonna tell you right now. Some of you guys are getting ready, like somebody's ex is getting ready to be your long-term companion. That's what I'm getting here. Yep, just seen the emperor again. Wow, okay. A source, truth, clarity, knowledge, wisdom, and victory. So you're going to find out some type of truth about a situation. You may find out that somebody just recently got divorced or separated from someone that they, you know, lived with. They shared a domestic space with. Again, that also, look at that. Emperor in reverse. A source in, in reverse. So you got the emperor here twice. Strong Aries energy. Did you guys show up in Aries? Maybe if you know someone who has strong Aries in their chart or you have strong Aries in your chart, check out Aries reading also. I believe you guys did show up in Aries reading. I do feel like you guys did. Now you have it upright. So somebody is like recently separated and they're trying to get their life together. Also, I'm going to say again, I keep getting something with temptation. Look at that temptation. A third party possibly. Because now I'm hearing that Let Me Blow Your Mind by um, Eve and Gwen Stefani. Nine of Wands, Wounded Warrior. Be, be careful about what you entertain. 
because it can cause you hardship. Really think really well about your next decisions here. Also, I'm going to say again, because you have a wounded warrior here and then you have someone who's giving up the fight. Like, I'm tired of fighting for something. Somebody's tired of a relationship or they're, they're in a very rocky relationship right now. They're trying to stay strong. You see how he's like, okay, I'm, I'm not going to give up the fight. Even here, he's laying down, but he has all his armor on like he's ready for one more fight. And if this is an ex trying to come back to you, that's what they're saying. They want to they wanna fight for this one more time. I really get like this person is like straight up saying like this ain't this whoever you're dealing with now they ain't for you they whack or you know they it's like they could be bashing this person even if you're single they could just be assuming that you're dealing with someone like say you're out and about and you're with a friend or something like that they may just assume that you're dating this person and they could just like be bashing this person like that ain't even your type this ain't or somebody's doing that to you i'm getting something like that that's gonna clarify for the emperor Clarify for the Emperor for, damn, okay, it's Pa and me, the world card again, Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, and Scorpio, so for some of you guys, this is going to happen in Aquarius season, and it flipped up, wow, I can't make this up, Aquarius, okay, let me tell you something, wow, you guys got three major icons, boom, 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 okay, now the tower upright, now again, we got strong Aries and Scorpio, we hit the death card, that's Scorpio, you got Aquarius multiple times, so you got Aquarius, I'm, I'm sorry, Aries and um Scorpio here, and you've had both of those. You had Aries, specifically the Emperor twice. And then you had the Death card, the Scorpio. And you have both of those here. So you could definitely be dealing with someone who is Scorpio, Aries energy. But with the Tower Reverse, this is somebody I definitely feel like for a lot of you guys, you got an ex who is like trying to come back into your life. Because up right, that's an ending, a crashing ending, something unexpected. And Reverse is like this person does not want things. They have not wrapped things up for sure. Like they, they're like, no. I'm, I'm not done with the situation. They want a brand new start. Oh my God. One, two, three, four major icons. And then you got this four here. Something with four. You guys are definitely going to be seeing two, 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 four, four, four. A lot of that. A lot of that. And those are spirit guide. Those are, you know, highly vibrational frequency numbers associated with your spirit guides, your ancestors, your guardians. So some of you guys have spirit guides who are guarding you, gu guarding you, protecting you, and guiding you. Through a certain situation with your love life. This is this is deep. Okay. Some of you guys, you definitely have someone significant coming into your life in Aquarius season. I'm getting that for sure. Aquarius and Taurus, if you're single, I'm getting that. World card travel distance for a movement. Again, I'm gonna say somebody's watching you on social media. If you have social media, if you don't, I feel like somebody is literally gonna pop up, like may come to your job, may come to your house. May if if you if they're still close with your family may pop up at a family function and you're gonna see this person like the fuck is they doing here you know one of those type of things also and it's like they're trying to get back in good that's what I'm getting here <laughs> with, that, with that four of swords you have the star card in reverse star card is wish fulfillment and healing again you have two major arcanas associated with Aquarius so something definitely is gonna happen in Aquarius season for some of you guys possibly within the next four days. I'm not, not four weeks, mm -mm. next four days, you, this person may reach out to you and, and you may get some type of communication from them after not hearing from them for a long time. For some of you guys, you may not have heard from this person for four months and then the next four days, they may reach out to you. I really get that. Cause look, we stopped here with the star card and you're ending with the star card, Aquarius. Now with it in reverse, like I said, somebody needs to heal first. Because in reverse, it's, it's, a, it's a lack of healing. Star card is feeling like healing. So somebody has not healed completely. If you broke it off with somebody, this person definitely wants to come back because they haven't moved on from you. And then also, you still need time to move on from someone else also. So jumping in a new relationship may not be the best. I'm not getting that's the best option, right? Because that could be a rebound. Yeah, that's crazy because now I'm seeing a basketball. Like somebody dribbling. Yeah, that could be a rebound. Some of you guys, be, be careful because you could end up in a situation where you're the rebound because this person has completely healed. And then for others, I do feel like somebody's moving on. Somebody's going in a different cycle, and they're going to be connected to someone that they're going to marry and be in a long-term relationship with. This is fate and destiny. So we have two different scenarios here. You would just put it where it applies with your situation, okay? This is deep. This is deep. All this major arcana, please. This is a biggie. And like I said, you have four all together. I'm getting like the next four days, somebody's going to get some type of communication. And then over the next four weeks, somebody may be getting into a new relationship also, specifically in April. Okay, so Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus individuals, as always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, take care and be well.
Bye.